judging players on this sort of game. The second half, much better. And the goalkeeper here had to make more saves. Gu Chao he did make some good ones. Let's have a look at these match highlights throughout the course of the 90 minutes. And this is Petzolano hitting it upright. Yeah, this is when Arsenal were all over the place in the first half. Giroud tried to close the ball down and the ball bypassed him. Scalacci was the wrong side of Petzolano. In a 2v2 situation, both went with the wide player, Randy, to start with. And he just hits the post. And some defensive frailties exposed here. They certainly were. Ball played in. Arsenal don't defend the first one particularly well. And when it comes out to Vasquez, he's first to the ball with his left foot. Scalacci gets a slight touch on it. But it was the first prob first moment that's the problem. A ball whipped in. There's three Greentown players that could have headed that in. But only made the save, but it was a problem for Arsenal. And here the equaliser for Arsenal. Good play between Arshavin, Robin van Persie and Carlos Vela, playing mostly out on the right-hand side, it just changes the position to come into the centre-forward area. But look at the one-two here, this van Persie plays it off, makes a little angled run. Good save from the keeper, but good positioning by Vela. There's the ball that made it. A little flick from Arshavin, who didn't have his best game, it's got to be said, in the first half. He created that opening for Robin van Persie. Well, Arsenal had an enormous amount of ball in the second half, but struggled really to create clear-cut openings, for the most part restricted to efforts from range. And here's Aaron Ramsey to start with. It's a good strike from him. Keeper does well there. Blue Chow. Ramsey, who we have seen break forward from midfield. He did so throughout that second half. But, he's, but also Kieran Gibbs who had been a second half, so he got forward at every opportunity. Miachi does well here just to chest the ball down and then lay it off for him. Gibbs, who was just about to go on the overlap, then changed direction to come in field. And it was a good strike with his left foot. We saw him hit one later on with his right foot that went miles over the bar, but that was a good effort. Look at the chest control here from Miachi. It's a good example, really, of the tempo that Arsenal set in the second half, wasn't it? Just Kieran Gibbs doing well down that left-hand side again. Shamak sets up Wilshere to Theo Walcott. Gets the first one blocked, I think it was going wide anyway, and then the second one. One or two players weren't happy with Theo Walcott when he lifted that one over the bar. We saw him do that against Malaysia. So him score one and lift one over the bar. But he did have some good movement here. Miachi, look one two with Kieran Gibbs. It's a good cross into the box, and Walcott reacts really well. He anticipates where the ball is going to go, gets there early, but once it comes in and he gets there unchallenged, he's really got to score or certainly get it on target. Well, let's have a look at the tail of the tape, as it were. The most telling stat, of course, 1 1. Shots 18 for Arsenal, 6 to Greentown. The majority for Arsenal coming in the second half they're two on target in the first half nine by the end of the game they should really have gone on to win it now we'll go back to the studio for the thoughts of Dan and Nigel thanks Andy well Arsenal surprisingly held by Hangzhou Greentown Nigel but a much better second half display from Arsene Wenger's side 100% well, improvement team shape um, crispness of moving the ball uh, chances created.